Just a quick reminder before we get into the lesson to download the hands-on lab exercises that accompany this complete CCNA course. I'll include the link in the description. Also remember to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any of the lessons in the course. Okay, let's get into it. In the earlier lectures in this section, you've learned about syslog and SNMP, which are both used for logging. And you've also heard about SIEM systems and NMS systems as well. And you're probably thinking, well, aren't these things all doing the same thing? Do I have to choose one or the other or what do I do? So I'm going to clear that up for you in this lecture. First up, can comparing syslog and SNMP. And both syslog and SNMP provide logging functionality. Syslog can often provide more granular detail than SNMP can, but it has support only for the device pushing information out to a syslog server. It doesn't support a server pooling or setting information onto the device like you can do with SNMP. So, Syslog, a bit more granularity on the amount of reporting it can do, but SNMP has got a bit more functionality there. So do you have to choose one or the other? Well, no, NMS servers will typically support both Syslog and SNMP. You see the diagram I've got on the slide here. That's from the Kiwi website, which was the software I was using for the demo earlier. And you see that the Kiwi server, it's marketed as a syslog server, but it supports SNMP as well. It also supports other types of events coming in, for example, from the Windows event log. And this is typical. An NMS system will usually support getting information from multiple sources, both syslog and SNMP and other sources as well, including NetFlow from Cisco routers. So you don't have to choose one or the other, you can run both and you can use them where they fit best. Next thing is NMS and SIEM because we talked about both of those earlier as well. The NMS is your network management system, the SIEM is your security information and events manager. And just like there's overlap with Syslog and SNMP, which are the protocols that are used, there's also overlap between NMS and SIEM systems, which are the servers that are used to monitor all this information. So with NMS and SIEM, both can gather logging information from network infrastructure devices, such as routers, switches, and firewalls, also from other devices as well, like servers, and that uses protocols like Syslog, SNMP, and NetFlow is commonly used to send networking information from Cisco routers. So what's the difference between NMS and SIEM? They're both gathering that information. Well, a product which is marketed as an NMS which is a network management system, will have a focus on collating network information and it will provide nice reports and a nice GUI so you can see what's going on with your network. It will provide early warning of any problems and easier troubleshooting of those problems as well. A product which is marketed as a SIEM, as a security manager, will have a focus on collating security information and it will provide reports which focus on that and early warning of any security incidents and easier troubleshooting of them. So they, they can both gather the same kind of information, but they've got a different focus on how they're going to report it and the tools that you can use to manage it. So let's have a look at an example of that. Looking at an NMS system here, this is from SolarWinds, who are a very popular paid NMS. And you can see here it's got nice GUI. You can get nice graphical reports. And over on the right, you can see the kind of information that is being highlighted, interfaces with high percent utilization. So if you've got interfaces that are getting congested, it's going to tell you about that. So you can fix it by putting more bandwidth in there or maybe by configuring QoS, quality of service, that we're going to cover later on. Also down at the bottom, there's, it's reporting on interfaces with high error and discard rates. So it's giving you a nice dashboard where you can see everything that's going on in your network. And it's also highlighting any potential network problems. If we look at a SIEM, on the other hand, this is from InfoSight. 
it can get the same kind of information, but you see that it's focusing on different types of reports. It's telling us the top 10 event categories. So we can see that the most common fault we have is authentication, meaning people are putting in the wrong password. That's normal for that to be high because people do sometimes put in the wrong password. But if you see that that is unusually high and there's been a jump in it, that could indicate that an attacker is trying to break into your systems by guessing your passwords. Further down, we can see that the next most common thing is malware attacks against us. And other, we can see other exploits in there as well. Other kind of information, we can see which are the most common attacks that are being launched against this. Also, which hosts have, have been receiving multiple events. So if we're a security engineer, we're gonna come in in the morning, we're gonna look at this dashboard and maybe one of the first things we'll do is we'll go and we'll investigate these hosts to see if there's anything bad happening with them. Okay, so that's the difference between an NMS and a SIEM. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to get the complete course ad free right now, then you can enroll in my CCNA Gold Bootcamp by clicking the link above my head or in the description. It also includes full study notes, quizzes, and 150 pages of additional troubleshooting labs you can't find anywhere else.